Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to the campaign. This episode is looking like it's going to be a busy one. We have a large encounter with the British fleet, or at least a portion of it. I have the Braunschweig and the Wittelsbach against heavy cruisers Burbick, Cressy, Suffolk, light cruisers Barossa and Superb, and torpedo boats Star and Success. Whereas I only have the two battleships, and no support ships in the form of cruisers, I do have a lot of torpedo boats. Which, as you have seen, can be extremely deadly. Let's have a go. I'm expecting my battleships to be able to take care of the cruisers, so long as they do not get too close. The torpedo boats on their side need to get eliminated quickly. I am very concerned about their ability to aggressively charge my battleships. Much like I'm doing with theirs. And thereby just overwhelm even the short-range defenses that I have on my battleships. Enemy spotted west, so let's go west. These guys are trying to fall into formation, that's fine. Let's have torpedo boats 15 and 16 wait for a second until the rest of the fleet catches up. Looks like Wittelsbach had to get out of the way. Of a torpedo boat, of all things. So we're going to slow you down a touch. Northwest. Okay, fine. Whoops. Sierra 6. Turn. And also wait for the rest of your group. Northwest still. I can only do times 5 now, so we're definitely getting closer. There we go. So that's a heavy cruiser. Let's see if my battleships are capable of damaging that. I know that the, their heavy cruisers are pretty poorly defended. So that means that my AP should be capable of getting rid of theirs. Getting rid of their armor. Just plunge right through it. And that might also allow me... Do I want to start sacrificing torpedo boats here or not? Yeah, well, there's just a whole lot of mine, so why not? These boys are not going to be happy to see me. That's fine. Increase the flank. Set it to times two, since I have to manage a bunch more ships than normal. There's the Cressy. That means that that is their light cruiser group, and their torpedo boats are somewhere back there, potentially. Ooh. Kind of expecting the Crassy to start prepping a torpedo launch. You and your group to go here. Ow! There's the torpedo. Uh, turn, 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 turn. Zero 15, launch torpedo when you're ready. We're gonna hunt down some light cruisers. Want you to detach. You're gonna hunt down a heavy cruiser. You're gonna hunt down a heavy cruiser as well. Torpedo away against the Cressy, but she saw it coming from a mile away. As expected. I've got another torpedo boat here in the form of CR6. We're gonna go for the Suffolk. Battleships are still in an okay position, but I think they haven't really been able to do much. They're targeting the Cressy. I'm going to switch to the Suffolk, because the Cressy is farther away. Let's see if we can... Really? Who got dunked on by a torpedo? You? Wait, 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 wait. You? Oh, crap. Torpedo ran long. I didn't expect that, but yeah. Okay, the Sierra 7 has launched her torpedo and it's looked like... In, yeah, it looks like a decent hit on Suffolk. Excellent. You're going to go for the Berwick. I basically need to cripple them and slow them down. And then allow the heavy cruisers to either flood out or let my battleships finish them off. That's the plan. The light cruisers, there we go, that's the Suffolk out of commission. The light cruisers are definitely a concern. I wouldn't be surprised if Barossa is going to throw a torpedo my way. 
in the next 15 seconds or so. I want you out of this fight. Hard port. Torpedo already launched from Sierra 16. Turn back. We're going to charge down the Berwick. I find that charge of the Light Brigade here, charge of these small ships, is just ridiculously effective. It works amazingly well. And the AI has very little, if any, way to deal with it. Torpedo hit on the Barossa. Yes. Hard to port. Throw your torpedo right in the face of the Berwick. I want you to wait for a second. You're flooding. Come on. Don't be rude. Barossa seems to have a lot of water. But I wouldn't be surprised if she's going to survive. Sierra 9. Drop your torp. Shit. Torpedo launcher is not able to rotate fast enough and therefore will not be able to inflict damage against the Berwick. I waited too long with the attack. Now my torpedo launcher is still stuck over to the starboard side. It's not great. Hard to port. Sierra 12, wait. These guys are crippled. This one is not. 14. Commence your turn. Now. Because the Berwick has torpedoes. Ah, there we go. 14 launched. Go for an orbit. Uh, the cruiser's probably going to die. So the safest way is behind the cruiser. When it comes to the torpedo boat here, we're going to give these guys the good news. Something impacted. That was the torpedo from the 14 against the Berwick. Berwick starts flooding badly. 13. Launched against the Superb. Superb's dodging. She might be able to get away with it. But I still have more of these little things. Nope. Yes! Superb dodges the torpedo. Not by a large margin, but by sufficient. And she returns the favor and hits the S-13 in the face with the torpedo. Okay. That's fair. How's your uh, health doing? Not stellar. Finish off the Berwick, don't you? I'm going to already start charging after the Cressy. I want you to really get out of here. Battleships. New target. Superb. A lot of these torpedo boats of mine are going to take a serious beating. But arguably should survive. Sierra 10 launched the torpedo against the Superb. But the Superb is already turning to starboard. Hmm... Let me take a snapshot of that. Thank you. If you want to take some screenshots for yourself, Control Shift Alt Z removes the HUD. That's looking better. Okay, the Berwick is trying to dodge the torpedo from the 12, but I doubt that she'll be able to do it. Superb just took a torpedo. Uh, she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven compartments filling up. Unless she closes that compartment off, she's going to be dead. The Berwick has taken enough damage. Very good. The 12 can reload. The 13 needs to get out of here. Same for the 15, but their speed's down to 2 knots. The 7... Now, I also want you to stay alive. Okay, I want you to finish off the Superb. Just throw high explosive at the problem. That's probably sufficient. Do we have any functional torpedo boats? Anything that has not taken damage? Yeah, the 12. The 12 hasn't taken damage. Or at least not as much. That's just rude. I need you guys both to go after the Cressy. And I really want the Superb gone. She's down to 3% buoyancy. 
She <laughs> had one of her main guns destroyed. And the Barossa seems like it's going nowhere. 0.3 knots. Basically dead in the water. Serious damage to the main tower. Uh-oh. Didn't expect that. I should have. Slow down. You're still not ready for the launch. You are. Maximum port rudder. Torpedo when you have it. Wow, the Superb is doing a lot of work to contain her flooding. It seems, though, that she might still be susceptible to going up in flames. Because she has a lot of fires raging. And I doubt that she'll be able to control all of them. So that's an option. Can we get your torpedo launcher to do something useful against the Cressy, please? Because I don't really want to... Thank you. I don't really want to stay too far to the port side, sort of starboard side of that ship. Because my chances of eating a torp from the Cressy are serious. Superb sinks. Okay, battleships go after the Barossa. There's the torpedo that I was worried about. Get another hit on the Cressy, even though the angle is pretty terrible. S12, get out. S14, get out. And the Barossa, since she is a sitting duck, is going to be pretty easy prey. Even though I'm not very heavily armed with secondaries on my battleships. If the mains can just hit it, that'd be great. No! Just off. Torpedo is still... Well... They might dodge it. Nope. And that opened up a lot of floodings. Leading to the demise of the Cressy. One thing I'm still not seeing is their torpedo boats. There's a formation arguably here somewhere of two torpedo boats. But where? North. Right, if I'm going to have to try and chase them down, it's going to have to be the torpedo boats that do it. But preferably the healthy ones. The ones that have speed on their side. Which is not a lot of you. 16 might be able to do it. Because the battleships are only going to do, what, 14? 17 knots. That's it. Hmm. I wonder if I'm going to be able to find these guys. Because this... Oh yes, there they are. They're very small targets. But here they are. I think it's the first time I'm seeing one of their torpedo boats. Torpedo there. Okay, just cut right in front of them. And they won't be able to hit you. But that's just the one. Where's your friend? All the way back there. It's a bit of a cheat that you can see the other ship as well. But when you're trying to hunt something down, it is very valuable. It's the star. I'm trying to just get the S14 to pick a fight. Oh, no you're not. How did you even launch that? Just... That went right through the superstructure, didn't it? Look at that angle. <laughs> That's almost straight ahead. That should be illegal. I cannot launch through my superstructure, so you shouldn't be able to launch through yours. But apparently... The AI doesn't quite have to adhere to the same rules as players do. The star is going to be... Well... She might flood. Are the battleships. I want the S14 to survive, ideally. There's more flooding. I think the torpedo boats, when it comes to flooding, are the most survivable ships I have ever seen. These things are capable of getting rid of flooding at such an extraordinary rate 
that you're really not going to be able to kill them with a flooding. You're going to need something else. You're going to need to just blow their structural integrity up. Don't do that. There. Structural integrity is dropping thanks to all the fire. But look at that buoyancy. Just how quickly it recovers. Even though... The ship does not seem to be very seaworthy, being half of a submarine. Ah, this is great. Um, the success is trying to help the star, but as they're doing that, they're presenting themselves basically as one big target. That's the end of the S-12. I I know what the S12 or sorry what the success is trying to do which is basically overtake its formation mate and just make itself a bigger target which works but it's not likely to actually result in any kind of well success um I'd like to draw your attention to the S12 the S12 is on 1% buoyancy after taking 3 torpedoes Sorry, two torpedoes. I'm surprised that the ship is not dead. No, there's more flooding. Did you just launch a torpedo that almost hit the S-12? Come on, don't do that. There goes the star. She's also suffering her 1% buoyancy thing. Structural integrity. Look at that. 1%, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. There we go. Extensive fire killed it. The whole ship was burning down. So that's job done. That's the large encounter. Um, I took 2,565 victory points from that. I only lost the S12. Uh, sorry, no, the S9. They lost three heavy cruisers, two lights, and two torpedo boats, and 2,400 crew members. That's a lot of crew. There we go. The question, however, is how long am I going to be out of torpedo boats? A month. <laughs> Except for the S-12, which was the guy that got torpedoed twice. Uh, thank you, Maximum Bulkheads, for keeping the ship intact. And she's going to be down for three months. And uh, the 15, two months. But considering how many ships they just lost in exchange for one torpedo boat, I think this is perfectly fine. We also have a convoy here. Um, they got three torpedo boats coming after my three transports, and I only have the S4 to defend it. Yikes. This is going to be very difficult. Unless these transports are armed, which sometimes they can be. This one is not. This one isn't. And the Hamburg isn't. Oh, great. So, we got one little torpedo boat. And we're outnumbered three to one. On top of that, I'll probably spot it when it's a kilometer or two away. So, I have all sorts of problems. I don't really want to wait out the time. So, I'm going to have to go for sinking all ships or just crippling them sufficiently so that they cannot get to my transports. Carry it down to times five. That means the enemy's close. And there they are. There we go. 2.1 clicks out. I have a regular trained crew. But I think so do they. This is going to be torpedo juking. But the problem is I have torpedoes. Two of them. And they have three torpedo boats. So something is going to have to get gunned down. Let's slow you down. Exactly for those reasons. Torpedo issues. Because she just popped her launcher. Hold on, you got three of them? Wait, what? Hold on. You got a standard complement of torpedoes. Oh, you have two torpedo launchers. 
Okay. So he just popped two torpedoes. This is starting to make sense. Um... How many bulkheads do you have? Few. Alright, we're gonna torpedo you. Point blank range. She's already flooding. Oh, 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 hold, 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 hold. We might be able to just flood them out. Although I've seen that with the torpedo boat before, it didn't quite work out then. Fuck it. Torpedo away. Is the Kestrel gonna dodge? She is not. But I kind of doubt that that will kill her. Because torpedo boats are extraordinarily difficult to sink. <laughs> Thankfully, though, she might be out of the fight. Because I doubt that she's getting her engines back anytime soon. So let's target the Fame. And see if I can kite behind the Kestrel and have the Fame either shoot the Kestrel with guns or torpedoes. She gets to choose. Oh crap, there goes my fire control. Torpedoes away from the Kestrel! The S4 dodges again. Come on, dude. Okay, so the Kestrel's out of the fight. Oh shit! Maximum port turn. We're flooding. Uh, this is just not going to work out. The S4 is too heavily damaged. And I don't know if I can fix all of this flooding. I probably can't. Which means I'm not getting those engines back either. So those three transports are basically dead. The only thing I can try is just launch my torpedo at the fame. But it's 400 meters out. So she's going to have plenty of warning. Torpedo away. The fame is already turning. Yeah, she's not going to get hit. Hmm. This is not quite going to work out. Flooding on the S4. I did get one of my engines back online. But I cannot outlast these guys by three hours. All I can do is put the ship in harm's way as much as possible and hope that the enemy is just going to take enough damage to their engines. Or flood, for example. And that they'll be ineffective. Shit. Oh, no. I could take a torpedo potentially, but not to... Dead. So that is a... Well, is it a victory to them? I mean, yes, they sunk a torpedo boat. But my transport survived. This is such a weird setup. Hmm. Power projection. 546 versus 1243. I really need more battleships. When are they coming out? Uh, nine months. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to leave it here. Um, this one was an interesting one with the larger encounter, which definitely deleted a couple of their ships, bringing them down to 53. So over time, they've taken more losses than I have. But I am just not capable of projecting my uh, power enough because I don't have enough battleships. Anyway, that'll be it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and soon there will be another episode, so I hope you can join me then. Thank you for watching.